Hello and welcome to the 12th episode of Simply Electronics Basics. Today we're going to have a look at voltage dividers, what they do and how they work. I'm going to demonstrate this using one of the simplest setups possible. You can create a voltage divider simply using two resistors and one power source. So before we go any further, what exactly is a voltage divider? A voltage divider will allow you to divide the voltage between two resistors and therefore allowing you to step down the voltage from a power supply to any other voltage that you require. For example, there is a 12 volt power supply powering this circuit. So what if I only have a 12 volt power source, but I only want 5 volts from the power source? Well, this is exactly what voltage dividers can do for us. By dividing the voltage between two resistors, you can adjust the resistance of each resistor to change the ratio of division across them, and therefore alter the voltage drop across each resistor. This will then allow us to make a connection across a resistor and use our desired voltage. So here's a quick demonstration just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have a 12 volt power source and the first resistor, which we will call R1, is set to 1 ohm. And the same for the second resistor, it is also set at 1 ohm. So because both of these resistors are set to 1 ohm, the ratio is 1 to 1. So therefore the voltage drop across each resistor is exactly half of the supply voltage. I can confirm this by putting a voltmeter across resistor 2, which is showing 6 volts. If there is 6 volts across this resistor, then there must be 6 volts across this one, because our power supply is 12 volts. And just so you can see, resistor 1 also has 6 volts across it. Now, we've changed the resistors in this circuit, and it may become a little bit more difficult to work out the voltage across any of the resistors. For example, how do I work out what the voltage will be across this resistor if it is set to 2 ohms and this one is set to 10 ohms? Or, how do I work out what the voltage will be across this resistor? Well, thank God for equations, because there is a really simple equation that will allow us to work out the voltage across any resistor connected in a series circuit. The equation goes like this. V equals V total over R total times R. This simply means the voltage across any resistor is equal to the total voltage in the circuit, which is the voltage of our power supply, divided by the total resistance in the circuit, in this case it is 2 ohms plus 10 ohms, which is 12 ohms, and then we times that result by the resistance of the resistor from which we are calculating the voltage drop. So if I want to work out what the voltage drop will be across resistor 1, I would simply do this. The voltage across this resistor will be equal to 12 volts divided by 12 ohms times 2 ohms. This gives me the result of 2 volts. So to confirm this, let's connect a voltmeter across the resistor and see what the voltage is. As you can see, the voltage across this resistor is 2 volts. I know the total voltage in the circuit is 12 volts. If resistor 1 is dropping 2 volts, then resistor 2 must be dropping 10 volts across it. And that's exactly what it does. Now, let's say we want a particular voltage from a voltage divider, but we don't necessarily know what resistors we should use. There is also a simple equation for this as well. In this case, I'm going to try and work out how to get 5 volts across resistor 2. The equation goes like this. Resistor 2 is equal to resistor 1 times V out, or my desired voltage out, divided by the sum of voltage in minus my desired voltage out. To give you a better understanding, let's work this out together. So again, I have two resistors in the circuit. Resistor 1 is set to 10 ohms, and we now need to work out the resistance of resistor 2 in order to get 5 volts dropped across it. The equation goes like so. The resistance of resistor 2 will be equal to 10 ohms times 5 volts divided by the sum of the voltage in, which is 12 volts, minus my desired voltage out, which is 5 volts, which gives us an answer of 7.14. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to set resistor 2 to 7 ohms. So resistor 2 is now set to 7 ohms. Let's check to see if I have approximately 5 volts across this resistor. 
And there you have it. So you can see I have 4.94 volts across this resistor. And this is because I set it to 7 ohms instead of 7.14. Because in the real world, it's difficult to come across a resistor of that accuracy. If I were to change the resistance of resistor 1, I would then need to use the same equation to work out what resistor 2 should be to get my desired voltage dropped across it. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. There is a link in the description to this interactive circuit so you can experiment with it yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and to get notified of any new videos I upload, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below and thank you for watching.